Bam Adebayo is the key for a Miami Heat championship victory this season. The versatility and success that Bam has showed over his career really prove how important he is to the Miami Heat's success, especially during these playoffs. But quickly before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. When the Miami Heat originally signed Kyle Lowry during the offseason, a lot of people raised their expectations for the Heat as being legitimate championship contenders, but the question was still there if they were on the level of teams like the Milwaukee Bucks and the Brooklyn Nets in the Eastern Conference. But as the season was starting to progress and the Heat were showing their capabilities in terms of playing great team basketball, offensively as well as defensively, and after being the number one seed in the Eastern Conference after the season was over, a lot of people were starting to get excited about what the Heat were doing. And going into Miami Miami's first round matchup against the Atlanta Hawks, most people thought the Heat were going to win that series, and of course the Heat did win that series 4 games to 1, but really the impressive part of that series wasn't necessarily that the Heat won, because as I mentioned most people expected them to, but it was really how they won. And what I mean by that is how their main stars performed in the series for the most part, and I'm talking about guys like Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo specifically, Tyler Hero, and even Victor Oladipo in game 5 at least, but probably more impressively than that, the way the Heat were able to play defense the entire series specifically on a guy like Trey Young, who's known for being one of the best young scorers in the NBA, and how they were able to basically shut him down throughout the entire series was probably the most impressive thing to me personally over anything else. And the reason why I say that is because we obviously know the age-old saying that defense wins championships, and if the Heat were able to contain a guy like Trey Young to the level that they were able to do, and continue to play that level of defense in whatever series they are in, they're probably going to have a pretty decent chance to win whatever series they're in at that point. Now, of course, there are more factors that go into it, but defense is probably the most important one. And honestly, I think what the Heat gained in that series against the Hawks more so than anything else was confidence. Just the level that the Heat were able to play at, both offensively and defensively, would just give any team a bunch of confidence going forward. And I think we've really seen that confidence translate, at least so far, in the first game against the Sixers, as they were able to beat the Sixers pretty handedly. And I think pretty much the consensus about this Sixers series is most people think the Miami Heat are going to win this matchup in maybe six or seven games, but at the same time, it's very obvious that this matchup is a lot more competitive than the Atlanta Hawks series was. And honestly, a big reason for why a lot of people think the Heat are going to win this series is due to the fact that Joel Embiid already missed game one, and he's also going to miss game two. Now, other people think the Heat are going to win this matchup, including myself, because they're the better team. I think the Heat are the better team in this matchup, but at the same time, it's pretty obvious that the Sixers have a very talented team on their end, and obviously, I don't think anybody would be surprised whatsoever if the Sixers do end up winning this matchup. But at this point, at least for me, personally, the Heat are certainly my pick. There's a few different reasons for why I think the Heat are going to win this series, but probably the main reason for why I think so is I just think the Heat play better as a team and are just better coached than the Sixers are, at least at this point. The way that the Heat are able to run their crisp and clean offensive sets, move the ball around effectively, play phenomenal defense, it's just better than the Sixers are able to do, at least in my opinion. And although the Sixers certainly have better top-end talent when you talk about a guy in Joel Embiid, as well as James Harden, although James Harden clearly isn't playing at the level that James James Harden typically plays at, the Heat still do have some top talent guys like Jimmy Butler and also Bam Adebayo, but they're also a much more deep team when you talk about other guys they have on the roster like Tyler Hero, even Victor Oladipo, Kyle Lowry, and I just personally think the combination of them being better coached alongside with the fact that they're just a deeper team combined with that top end talent would lead the Heat to a victory over the Sixers in this series. And at this point, my official prediction for the series is the Heat in seven games. I think when Embiid does come back, he'll be able to push this series to seven games, but I just think the Heat would be too much even with Embiid on the roster. But of course, I also could see the series going in six games, but at this point, my prediction is the Heat in seven. But now let's get into the point of the video, which is why Bam Adebayo is the key to a Miami Heat championship victory. Now, I think everybody could agree that Jimmy Butler is the best player on this Miami Heat team, so why am I saying Bam is the key to a championship victory? Well, I don't necessarily think you need to be the best player on your team in order to be the key to a championship 
championship. And I think the same could be said for Jordan Poole and the Warriors, because obviously Jordan Poole is not the best player on the Warriors, but at the same time, I personally think he is the key to a championship victory for them. So I think it's kind of the same thing with Bam Adebayo and the Heat. But I think there's a few different reasons for why I think this. The first reason is specific to the Sixers series and the way that Bam would be able to play defense on a guy like Joel Embiid when he does come back. Bam has proven in the past to be one of the better defenders and more versatile defenders at that center position. And I think it's basically impossible to completely stop a guy like Joel Embiid. But if Bam is able to take Embiid on one-on-one -on -one and at the very least be able to slow him down or make Embiid utilize more energy offensively, it's going to make everybody else's lives a lot easier. And what I mean by that is on the defensive side, if Bam could take Joel one-on-one, -on -one, at least in certain possessions, the Heat wouldn't necessarily need to double or triple team Joel. And at that point, they'll be able to guard the other players on the Sixers a lot more effectively. Guys like Tobias Harris or James Harden. And really more importantly than anything else, not give up wide open three-point jump shots to these Sixers players, who of course have proven in the past capable of hitting those catch and shoot three-point jump shots. But also another factor in this is even if Joel is getting his numbers like he probably will, if Bam is doing a good enough job on him and making him work harder offensively in order to score his own points, he's going to be more tired on the defensive side and it's just going to make it a lot easier for everybody on the Heat to score once driving all the way to the basket if Embiid is obviously more drained and more tired. So that's certainly the first reason why I think Bam is the key to a championship victory. But even besides the Sixers series, let's just say for the sake of the video, and this is probably what I expect is going to happen, let's say in the Eastern Conference Finals, it's the Miami Heat versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Having a guy like Bam Adebayo to defend a guy like Giannis, although he's probably not going to stop Giannis, he'll be able to slow him down at least, or at least do as good of a job as you possibly could on a guy like Giannis. And what I'm basically trying to say is Bam is just a very versatile defender that's very important to this Miami Heat team and is a huge reason for why they were able to play such great defense on a guy like Trey Young in the first round matchup as well. So that's the first reason for why I think he's the key to a championship victory for the Heat. But the next reason is just how versatile he is offensively. Of course, Bam has a capability to score for himself. He also has a capability to take the ball up the court and drive all the way to the basket and dunk over players or finish around them with crafty layups. But Bam also has a pretty nice ability to take the ball at the top of the key and really survey the defense and find players cutting all the way to the basket for wide open dunks or layups. Or he also has the capability to find players in the corner or at the top of the key for a wide open catch and shoot three point jump shot. The versatility that he shows offensively is just phenomenal and takes a ton of pressure off guys like Tyler Hero or Jimmy Butler or even Kyle Lowry due to the fact that he could run the offense in certain possessions. And I just think for those reasons, Bam is the key to a championship victory for the Heat. And if he's able to keep up the level of play that he has been so far in these playoffs, I think the Heat would certainly have a chance to win the championship this season. But of course, that is a big if. The first big key for Bam would be to see how he performs against Joel Embiid. But we'll see what happens in the rest of these playoffs. I certainly think Bam and Abayo and the Miami Heat are one of the more entertaining teams to watch in the playoffs right now. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Bam at Abayo is the key to a championship victory for the Miami Heat, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out, guys.